directions for questions 1 to 5 the passage talks about manufacturing in united states before 1815 manufacturing in the united states had been done in homes or shops by skilled artisans or apprentices that is the skilled artisans or apprentices worked in shops and homes under a master craft worker who imparted the knowledge of their trade to the apprentices apprentices were considered to be a part of the family and masters were responsible not only for teaching their apprentices a trade but also for providing them some education and for supervising their moral behavior apprentices knew that if they perfected their skill they could become respected master artisans themselves with their own shops uh, another aspect of their work is that uh, they did not work by the clock so they had a lot of leisure time after 1815 all this changed and then the factories started coming up uh, now many of the reasons why factories came up are cheap transportation uh, rise of cities and the availability of capital and credit all these uh, stimulated the shift to factory production goods produced by factories were not as finished or as elegant as those done by hand Uh, rather it was done to increase the rate of productivity rather than the elegance of the product the new methods of doing business involved a new and stricter sense of time everything was done with a stricter sense of time factory life necessitated a more regimental schedule the work started with the sound of a bell and the work was always done at a constant pace the factory system required workers to discard old habits and they required then they demanded that the workers be alert dependable and self disciplined let us start with the questions now which of the following can be inferred from the passage about articles manufactured before 1815 they were primarily produced by women that is not mentioned they were produced by apprentices and artisans not necessarily by women they were generally produced in shops rather than in homes uh, that is wrong they were produced in shops as well as in homes they were produced with more concern for quality than for speed of production that is the right answer speed of production became important after uh, the start of factories so before 1815 it was in homes and shops and there were more concern for quality rather than for speed of production which of these sentences below best expresses the essential information in the highlighted sentence in the passage now the highlighted sentence is this apprentices were considered to be a part of the family and masters were responsible not only for teaching their apprentices a trade but also for providing them some education and for supervising their moral behavior look at a masters demanded moral behavior from apprentices but often treated them irresponsibility uh, they treated them irresponsibility is wrong nothing is mentioned up, nothing is mentioned like that so a is wrong the responsibilities of the master to the apprentice when beyond the teaching of a trade that is true uh, apart from teaching of a trade they also taught them moral behavior so b is right answer masters preferred to maintain the trade within the family that is wrong uh, any uh, what is mentioned is that uh, they were apprentices and artisans not necessarily belonging to the family so c is wrong masters who trained members of their own family as apprentices uh, demanded excellence from them this is uh, probably true but it is not mentioned in that sentence in that uh, highlighted sentence it is mainly mentioned that apart from imparting the teaching of the trade master also imparted certain moral responsibilities that is given in option b 
which of the following is not mentioned as a factor that stimulated the shift to factory production so let us look at that part here it is mentioned cheap transportation networks the rise of cities and the availability of capital and credit all stimulated the shift to factory production so cheap transportation rise of cities and availability of capital all these are mentioned what is not mentioned is about electricity so option a abundant electricity this has not been mentioned others have been mentioned identify a word or phrase that is closest in meaning to the word tended the word tended can be used in a sentence as i tended to my own business so i tended to my own business means i paid attention to my own business so that is given in option b that is to pay attention so option b is the right answer industrialism demanded that workers be what that is given in the last line that is industrialism demanded a worker who was alert dependable and self disciplined alert dependable and self disciplined so alert is here so option b is the right answer other options are not there so what is given as option b alert